What's going on YouTube? ADC Art Attack here, and in today's video, we are going to be draw- No, 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 we are not going to be drawing, we are going to be coloring with a U in a coloring book. So let's go get ourselves a coloring book and see what we got to play with today. So we've got a few choices today. We could start by coloring in the most powerful superhero, for example, Superman. Or we could color in the best superhero, Batman. Or maybe we can just color in the dumbest hero. Yeah, it would, it would kind of just be Goku. I think we all agree on that. I'm just kidding, guys. Let's do something cute, fuzzy, and cuddly today. Hi there. All right, all right, enough games. Disney! Man, Disney has been around for a long time. These guys pioneered animation. I mean, you can go back and watch the original Lion King movie, and it's absolutely insane. It's an incredible movie. And to be honest, if only they would make a live-action adaptation that everyone wants to see... Sorry about that. But yes, so today we are going to be coloring in this coloring book here by Disney. And uh, we're going to have a look for it, see what we can find. And hopefully we can find some Lion King related stuff because massive fan of Lion King. Unfortunately, I don't have a Lion King shirt. And the only thing I can do is get a cat and just kind of swing it in front of the camera. And I think that's animal cruelty, so I won't be doing that. But yeah, so join me in this adventure. We're going to flick through this coloring book right now. We're going to look for it. And hopefully this time I can remember to show you the backside of the coloring book. Because I have not done that. Oh, 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 oh. I have not been remembering to do that every single time that I do this. I apologize so much. And we're going to show you the previous one as well in this video. Because I forgot to. And I'm so sorry about that, guys. Oops. Ha! <laughs> yeah! There's a Lion King on the back. I did not know. I honestly swear to God, I did not see this. And uh, the, again, once again, it only costs two euros. These are a bargain. I love these coloring books. They're an absolute bargain. Two euros and all you got to do is color. Yay! So today, yeah, I'm going to flick through it. We're going to see what we can find. And I will be using a mix of pens and coloring pencils. A lot of people have been requesting that I do it. And I said that I didn't want to do it because I considered it to be too easy to mix the two together. It's a lot easier to get a, a desired result. So we're going to try that and see how it works on this kind of paper. Again, I haven't tried this paper. I don't know. This is another coloring book by another company, by Disney. So we're just gonna see, printed in India. Imported by Hema, the address is in Belgium. This thing goes global. So yeah, let's have a flick through, see what we find. And if we find some Lion King stuff in here, we are totally gonna color it. Let's go. Okay, so here we are with the coloring book by Multicolor or by Disney. I'm not sure. Is it a Multicolor book by Disney? One of life's many mysteries. All right, well, we're going to flick through this right now and see what we find. And hopefully we can find a Lion King image. I did have a look in this just to make sure it was a coloring book when I bought the book. But I haven't flicked through it, so I don't actually know what images are in here. I'm presuming it's a collection of Disney images. We're going to find out and let's see. And um, yeah, so I saw this. Basically, I saw that one of the images is colored and the other one is not colored. So it gives you the option to use it as a reference. We're not actually going to be doing that. I'm not going to be following a reference. I might use it for the, the base colors, but for the most part, I will not be using it as a reference i'll just be doing my own thing we're gonna have a look through this now and see what we can find and hopefully find some lion king there you go um we got some <laughs> we got some lion king and that's pretty cool actually i like this image of nala and simba they are pretty cool and pretty iconic characters however i think it's a pretty bland image um I, I know people have been saying to me they want me to do some bland images to sort of put my own artistic skill to them which we might do this one looks a little bit bland hopefully there's more lion king i'm not sure if it's just one image from each thing but let's have a flick through and see what we can find and while i'm doing that i'd like you to comment down below your favorite disney movie of all time mine is the lion king um a close second would be the stitch movie i absolutely love lilo and stitch so yeah i i'm gonna say that the lion king is my favorite movie of all time from disney well that said let's have a flick through and see what we can find Okay, so I found this image. Uh, there were several Lion King images in here, actually. I think it was only four movies that they chose from. So that was a little bit strange. I thought it was going to be a lot more of an array of collection. I also noticed that the Jungle Book images are different from their counterparts. And we'll go into that in a future video when we do the Jungle Book. But right now, I'm going to stick with this image. I think this one is the best one that I've found so far. There's so much going on here with so many different characters. And I think there's a lot I can do with the background and a lot I can do with the scenery. So this is the one we're going to work with. I hope you do enjoy it. Let's get into the video. Alrighty then, so to kick things off, I'm going to start by layering down some base colors. Now I'm going to be sticking to one character at a time right now, just to make things easier for both myself and for you following along at home. I'll also be upping the gradients for a brighter, sort of happier look, just to fit the tone of this scene. 
Plus, laying down a bright colour as a base makes it a little bit easier for me to shift the tones as I need to from light to dark. Just for me personally, I find it a little bit easier. And of course, as with the previous ones, I will list in the description down below any colours that I use. That said, it's very difficult for me to keep track of it, so it might not be 100% accurate, but I'll do my best. When I do this, I sort of just look at the colours and just grab what I need. I don't really keep a mental log of what I'm doing or how I'm doing it. I just sort of look at them and say, right, I need that one right now. So I'll try my best and hopefully I can get them all down there for you. Now I have already noticed a mistake with Pumba, and that is the left tusk. Now that would be his right tusk, our, our left one. Whoever coloured in this edition of the book failed to colour in that area, and that's just an easy mistake to make when you're working with something like this. Just the line structure, the way it's done, it's quite difficult to sort of get the lines accurately when you're working from, say, a reference, which I'm assuming they worked from. So when they were filling it in, they just wasn't thinking too clearly, and they just kind of put the colours down. That's why I'm keeping it one character at a time, just to make it easier on myself, so that I don't make those mistakes. Now as I'm getting into this, I am noticing a few issues that are arising here. The biggest one being the paper itself. The paper seems to have some sort of shiny, smooth fabric pressed into the paper. I'm not sure what's going on there and it does make it a little bit difficult to colour on top of them. However, when I'm adding the pencil onto them, it makes it a little bit easier just to hide them and blend across. So it's not too big of an issue and overall I'm finding this paper quite pleasant to work with. It's actually not too bad. So while we're here, I just want to say a couple of things regarding a point that I have seen in a few of these videos. And that is people saying that adults shouldn't be colouring children's colouring books, or that it's lazy, or whatever else comes up. Firstly, let me just say, it's not lazy. I can draw these. We have seen in previous videos that I can draw them and I am capable at drawing. But sometimes it is fun to just take a step back and just colour. That's what colouring books are for. They are just for colouring. They remove all of the stress of trying to draw. They remove the stress, the biggest stress, which is ink smudges. You don't have to worry about any of that. Now, yes, of course, the paper qualities here are not as good as some other paper qualities that you may use. For example, I like to use Bristol board. Bristol board allows me to get a very vibrant color with my markers, whereas this coloring paper doesn't do that. Unfortunately, however, as an artist, you must learn to adapt, and that's what being an artist is. Learning to adapt with what you have. No two sheets of paper are ever going to be identically the same. You just simply, as an artist, have to learn to adapt, and that's what colouring books are great for. They teach you, they push you, they make you turn something that is considered bad quality paper, and you have to just push yourself to make it look good. So, that is the point of doing this. That's why I'm having fun with it. And yes, adults can colour in a children's colouring book. So while colouring this in, i got to say it brought back so many good memories. I am such a big fan of The Lion King. I think the movies are absolutely incredible. Uh, that includes the second one. The second one was an amazing movie and a lot of people sleep on it. I think the second one was just as good as the first one. I really like them both so much. But it has to be said, Timon and Pumbaa's inclusion into this movie franchise is just perfection. They were absolutely amazing, they were a joy to watch on screen, and this scene right here from when they sort of meet Simba, they take him, they're introducing him to eating the bugs, that was just such a great scene as a kid, and it still is a great scene as an adult. I'll never forget Pumbaa, slimy yet satisfying. Yeah. Ugh. Nasty. Well that said, what was your favourite moment from the Lion King movies? And while you think about that, we're going to finish up Pumba here, and then we're going to get on to Simba, so enjoy.
Right then, so moving on to Simba, once again I started with laying down some light-hearted, bright colours just for the appearance, once again, it's, it needs to fit the theme of the whole thing, but I totally forgot to implement a sort of dark second layer, which I did with Pumba if you noticed that, I added a slight, it was the same tone, it was the same colour, but I just sort of double layered it just to add in where those shadows were going to be, this time I didn't do it, which just means I got to work a little bit harder when implementing the pencil onto here to get those tones that I want. And with Simba, I made the decision to, for the most part, utilise the same palettes, pencils, similar to Pumbas, just to keep the contrast and blend across all three characters clean and easy. So for Simba, I'll be using the Garnet and the Sienna Blue once again, and I will be using oranges and things like this, but for the most part, I want to keep a sort of nice contrasting tone, just to make it look easy on the eyes and looks quite nice. Well, that's the plan anyway. Now the difficulty here with colouring Simba is he's a little bit different to Pumba. Now Pumba has a quite a slick kind of shiny fur to him, or that at least that's the way I see it. I don't know if he actually does have that, I'm not too familiar with hogs or pigs or whatever the hell he's supposed to be. Uh, so I don't know, I'm pretty sure they're hairy but it's kind of smooth hairy. I, I, don't, I don't know, someone will have to tell me that. But that's the difference anyway, so Simba's got to be like cute and cuddly because he's a cat and he's fluffy. And so I had to kind of find a nice balance between the two because I wanted to keep the contrast there to so have it matching Pumba. But at the same time I wanted to add a little bit of fuzz to him but I couldn't do too much because obviously I don't want to throw the image off completely. So it was a little bit challenging to find that balance but I think I got it by the end, you'll have to let me know when you get there. So let's continue, finish him up and see what we got before we move on to Timon. So Timon was a little different here. Now with Timon, again, I laid the base colors down, but with Timon, I didn't really know what colors I was gonna use for him. I didn't know whether to go for a sort of skin tone palette. I didn't really have any real sense of idea of what to do. And to start with, I started going one way, then I changed it and I went another way. Um, I, I implemented a little bit of turmeric and the reason I did that was just because I had used a sort of orangey colour and a little bit of a sienna type brown with pumba. So turmeric is kind of in between those two colours and it just adds a nice blend between all three of them. And for me, I just saw that as a nice way to blend it and keep it all looking somewhat in the same gradient across the board. I'll admit, when I got to doing the leaf and the bug, I was sort of like, eh, can I be bothered to do this? So with the leaf and the bug, I just sort of half-assed it, I wasn't, <laughs> I just sort of just, I don't know, I just kind of coloured it and just right there, that's done, I don't know, I, don't, I really didn't know what to do for it. Um, there wasn't too much I could do for it, I didn't really want to make it realistic or anything like that, so I just sort of done a plain Jane leaf and I don't even know what species of bug there is, I think it's a ladybug, I don't know. That's to tell me. I have no idea. <laughs> it's really hard to gauge the size of these characters. I mean, if there is a ladybug, then damn, how small is Timon? I mean, that would make him like a centimeter tall, right? I was like, a, a centimeter and a half. Why am I thinking about this so much? Let's finish up coloring this.
Okay, so here we are. The drawing is complete, and I gotta say, I I absolutely love this. I'm sorry I didn't do a background here. I know a lot of people were probably expecting me to do one. The reason I didn't do it is because of the symmetry here. Because on the other side, we've got the example from the company themselves. I didn't want to stray too far from that. I sort of wanted to keep it as a mirrored image side by side. If I was to add a background to it, I think everyone's eyes would naturally gravitate towards my one, which is why I kept it bland. I wanted people to look at this with open eyes and just say, you know, what do we think about this? Because they are completely different styles. I think of all of this, my favorite thing right here has got to be Pumbaa. I think Pumbaa looks fantastic. Uh, Simba, I really like. Timon, I couldn't really do too much with. He was very small and when the paper is of this quality, I know I've said that the paper is quite okay and it's sort of workable. However, Timon was just too small for it to be that workable. I'm not that good, so it's a little bit difficult to do him and I did get a little bit lazy towards the end with the whole bug thing. But hey, I think I did alright here, I really like it, and this gets me in the mood for the Lion King movie, which I promise I will go and watch. I know I bashed on it earlier on, but no, I haven't seen it yet, and I will go and check it out. With all that being said, what do you think of the drawing? Did you like it? Do you think it looks good? I think it does. And do you enjoy this session? Do you enjoy me colouring in colouring books? If you do, well then I got a surprise for you in the next video, or the next colouring book session video thing coming up soon. It's something you've all been waiting for for a long time, I think. Leave a comment down below, let me know your thoughts, and of course, remember today's question which was, who is your favourite Lion King character? I'll see you in the next video, take care, bye bye.